This is Denver 7 On Demand. Hi there, I'm Russell Haythorn with the latest from Denver 7. Right now, Aurora police are looking into a string of car thefts in a neighborhood off I-70. Four cars have been stolen in the past month within a mile of Espana Way. Police say the suspects have not been arrested at this time. At least one of those cars has been recovered. Dozens of people gathered to remember the lives of Shannon, Bella, and Celeste Watts. The pregnant mother and her two daughters were tragically killed almost three weeks ago in Frederick. They were laid to rest during an emotional funeral in North Carolina. The city of Denver is teaming up with Lyft to make it easier for you to catch a ride after a show at Red Rocks or the DCPA. The three-year agreement includes designated pickup and drop-off sites. Lyft will also have ambassadors at Red Rocks to help people find those rides and Uber will still be available as well. And taking a look at your forecast on this Sunday, mostly sunny skies to start our day out near Rocky Mountain National Park. Increasing clouds, though, and the chance for late-day showers and thunderstorms, especially at higher elevations into our mountains and foothills. Denver metro area, partly to mostly cloudy throughout the day. High temperatures will be pretty pleasant, low to mid-80s across the front range and plains for this afternoon. And as we go throughout Labor Day, a better chance for some more moisture in and around town. Overnight lows dropping down to the mid to upper 50s. A bit cooler Tuesday and Wednesday, mid to upper 70s. Showers likely midweek, then warmer and dry to round out this coming work week. All right, thank you, Katie. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us. Check back here later tonight for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Russell Haythorne.